how do I make a decision between using a brine fermentation or a mash fermentation when I'm making my hot sauces? When I'm thinking of a new hot sauce that I want to make or a new recipe, I'm thinking about what do I want at the end? If I want to have quite a pronounced raw garlic flavor, for example, when I say raw, I mean unfermented, then I'll definitely be using a brine fermentation method. And you can control the level of fermentation that you want out of your vegetables and peppers by controlling the size of the vegetables and peppers that you're adding in. So if you chop them up finer, then they're going to ferment a little bit quicker. If you put in whole cloves of garlic, which is what I would do if I'm looking to make it quite garlicky, I would add the whole cloves of garlic and I would know that that's not going to ferment all the way through if I control how long I'm fermenting for. In this example, I would probably add whole cloves of garlic, I would put in the peppers as normal, and I would ferment it for maybe three weeks and I would then blend it up. This just comes down to experience to make sure that you're still getting the acidity you need, which is below 4.6 on the pH scale. I always recommend for beginners, you use the brine method at least for your first fermentation because you'll have a lot less stress. You can control what's happening in terms of things going wrong. So if you start getting a layer of calm yeast on top of a mash fermentation, you could scrape that off, but it's probably going to come back again. With a brine fermentation, you could just pick out the bits of fruit or vegetables that have got any of the funky growth on it, throw it away, close up the jar, and you should be able to carry on fermenting without a worry. And it's quite easy to control that. I hope that answers your questions around why I use a brine method versus a mash method. If it doesn't, if you have any other queries about it, feel free to leave comments down below. I try and answer every comment that I can. And I hope to see you on the next video. And until then, bye-bye for now.